Hello everyone, welcome at iSurf Academy. This time I will show you how to work with iSurf Web Chat. Do you know what's that? It's a full featured Insta messaging client right in your web client. It's not difficult to use it, but maybe you don't know about all its features yet, so let's have a look. It really depends on your habits, but I'm kind of person who is used to use Insta messaging very often during the day. First, it's much faster than emails. Secondly, I see whether other side is online or not. And thirdly, thanks to history, which is saved there, I have all the conversation available for the future. So, as web chat is part of web client, it's pretty obvious that we have to start here, in the web client. Web chat should be here, on the right side of the screen. But in some cases, if you don't see there, check whether you are logged in the Insta messaging. It is very simple. Just click on your icon on top right corner of the screen and select online. There it is. Now I see all my colleagues and their current statuses. Most probably you already saw some type of Insta messaging client in the history, so you may be familiar with those statuses. If you need to change it, just visit your icon once more and select from the menu. Some statuses are managed automatically, mostly those with yellow color, like here, as it represents so-called away status letting you know that this person is most probably away from the computer for a while. Red statuses, like this one, means do not disturb or busy, and means that it's not a good idea to write him. And finally, green one means that you can talk. So let's do it. I need to talk to Jerry. To start the conversation, just double click on selected person and start typing. It will automatically open me a web chat window with a list of my open conversation. I need to ask Jerry about the update regarding this budget. And also, let Casey know that I haven't received any confirmation yet. When someone is typing you a message, you can see it thanks to this animation. Once we have received the message, you should see this blue icon right here. That is a new conversation. And also, if you will have it closed, you will see it again. Let's have a look. Right now, I have received the conversation from Jerry. And as you can see, it's now blue. And I can also click here at the bottom of the screen to open the conversation. Go back to Jerry. Ah. Okay, good. You can also easily send files using WebChat. Just use this plus icon and select what to share. Share file or document, organize a new web meeting or share your location. If you will send some document, you can decide whether it comes from your computer or your files and documents in your folder. Of web client. I have to share my meeting notes, so we'll select meeting notes and send it. Once you will send a document, it will be automatically recognized by Web Documents Engine, and within a moment, you should be able to see its preview right in the conversation window. And the same happens also to pictures. There is no need to download it and have a look after that. Would like to express some emotions in the conversation? No problem, just pick an emoji that you'd like. Okay, let's leave the chat window for, for a while. In some cases, you have also received a new mail, but have some additional questions to its content. So for those cases, it's even easier. Right next to the sender's address, you see his status, or her status in this case. And once you will click here, you can start the conversation immediately. There it is. At the beginning, I was also talking about a history. Well, it's all there. You can scroll up and see it all. Or, even easier way would be to search. Did she mention... 
some name of app she used for insta messaging. Let's have a look. Oh no, it wasn't Celia, maybe it was Casey. So I will look for the app. Oh, there it is. Ice Chat for iOS. That's our brand new app for iOS, allowing you to use the same features also on your smartphone. Give it a try and have a look at my video about it. So see you there. Bye bye. Okay, what else? Did you like this video? So leave us a thumbs up and subscribe so you won't miss any other. I also recommend your next video, which is as well related to iSorb. So see you there. Bye bye.